Hi everyone, I'm Dylan and in this short video I'm going to take a quick look at the new 3D text generator in ZBrush 4 R8. Now the text generator is very easy to use and access and it lives in the Z plugin up here. And scroll down to text 3D and vector shapes. And open it up. And I'm going to just dock this over here so it's easier to access. Now this is our text uh, button. This allows us to enter the text. And you can do that straight away or enter some parameters for us like um, the font style. Now we can bring in um, SVG files as well from the likes of Illustrator and various shapes but we're just going to do a uh, text for, for this test. Okay so just do the text. ZBrush 4 R8 and hit enter. Now drag out the text and hit T to go into edit mode. The text can be edited and altered after it's dragged out. I'll be using this text as a boolean subtraction on another piece of geometry shortly so I just want to make some changes to it first. I want to add some depth by extruding it a bit first and then adding some resolution to the, the text. then add a little bevel maybe that's too much that's not too bad and add some resolution to the bevel also I won't be needing the text plugin anymore for this so I'll close that down for the moment. This is our text sub tool and now I'm going to append a cube so that I can uh, use the text as a boolean subtraction on the cube. I'll use the gizmo 3D to scale the cube out and up now I'll select the text and move it out just enough so it intersects with the, the cube I'll use the transparency function just to see better what I'm doing I think that should be okay. Turn off transparency. Have a look. I'm going to use the new live boolean function to subtract the text from the cube and I've just moved the text sub tool down and all I have to do is hit the subtract here and now you can see it's cut the text into the cube. I can still make adjustments move the cut in or out and scale it. The yellow box in the center will scale everything uniformly. I'm 
Now when I'm happy with everything I need to make this into a boolean mesh and I'll do that by clicking on boolean and make boolean mesh and the mesh will appear up here in the list of tools I need to append this now pick it from the append list and there we have it in our list of subtools and now I can delete the other, other subtools I don't need them anymore and here's the result all polygrouped this could probably do it being uh, dynameshed and z remesh later on but for now it looks just fine to me that's it goodbye for now thanks for watching slan august gurumahagut